Hello and welcome to Hebrew Podcasts. If you are just starting to learn Hebrew and find that our lesson 1 goes too fast, then this easy level lesson is for you. It's designed to prepare you for lesson 1 by covering the basic vocabulary that you'll need in that lesson. Before we begin, I'd like to encourage you to download the read-along lesson guide that goes together with this lesson. You can download it from our website at hebrewpodcasts.com. And please let us know what you think about our podcast and give us any suggestion that you may have for how we can improve it. You can contact us by email at learn at hebrewpodcasts.com or using the feedback form on our website. I'm Danny and Noah is here to help me. Shalom Noah. Shalom Danny. Let's begin. A great way to learn a language is to speak it out loud. So don't be shy. Repeat after us. Let's give it a try. I'll greet Noah Shalom and you repeat after me. Shalom Noah. Shalom Noah. Very good. Now let's see how to introduce ourselves. Now suppose that I wish to say I'm Danny. First let's hear how to say I. Let's repeat after Noah. Ani. Ani. Excellent. Now I'm ready to say I'm Danny. Ani. Danny. Ani Danny. Noah, now it's your turn. Ani Noah. Ani Noah. Well done. Now let's use the second person. I'll say you're Noah. At Noah. At Noah. At means you. This is the feminine form. Let's hear the masculine form. Noah will say you're Danny. Ata Danny. Ata Danny. Ata means you when speaking to a male. Next, let's learn how to say thank you. Repeat after Noah. Toda. Toda. Wonderful. Okay, Noah, let's say some really simple sentences. To do that, let's learn a few nouns and a few verbs. Let's start with the nouns. Repeat after Noah. A book is Sefer. Sefer. Hebrew is Ivrit. Ivrit. A teacher is More. More. And the house or a home is Bait. Bait. Great. Now for the verbs. The following verbs are all in the present tense. We say these verbs differently depending on the gender of their subject. In the following examples, Noah will speak about me, so we'll hear the masculine form. Repeat after Noah. You can... Ata yachol. Ata yachol. You go... Ata holech. Ata holech. You love... Ata Ohev. Ata ohev. You play. Ata mesachek. Ata mesachek. You learn or you study. Ata lomed. Ata lomed. Outstanding. Okay, we're ready for a simple sentence. How would you say Danny is learning Hebrew? Danny. Lomed Ivrit Danny Lomed Ivrit Fantastic! And Danny loves Hebrew? Danny Ohev Ivrit Danny Ohev Ivrit Good job! For the next two sentences we need a preposition. We want to use the words to the. In Hebrew, we simply add la in front of the word. So to the house is la bait and to the city is la il. So Noah, how do we say Danny is going to the house? Danny holech la bait. Danny holech la bait. Bravo! And Danny is going to the city or Danny is going to town. Danny holech la ir. Danny holech la ir. 
Nice. Now a couple of adjectives. Those are words that describe a noun. To say new, it's Chadash. Chadash. And to say nice, it's Nechmad. Nechmad. Awesome. So now let's add some words together. Noah, how about a new house? Bait Chadash. Bait Chadash. A new teacher? More Chadash. More Chadash. A new book? Sefer Chadash. Sefer Chadash. A nice teacher? More Nechmad. More Nechmad. And a nice house? Bait Nechmad. Bait Nechmad. That's grand. Next, let's learn how to ask a question. A simple question word that means what is ma. So I'll call Noah and she'll respond with what? Noah? Ma? Ma? We already know how to say new. So to ask what's new, we say Ma chadash? Ma chadash? Good. Now let's learn to ask how are you? Ma shlomcha? Ma shlomcha? Ma shlomcha? That's how are you? And to answer, let's learn the word for good. Tov. Tov. And we already know how to say thank you, so let's practice. Ma shlomcha? Ma shlomcha? And I answer, Tov toda. Tov toda. That's good. Thank you. You're doing really well. Learning a language is all about practice, repetition, and recitation. It helps consolidate all these new words in the brain. At this point, it's a good time to mention that in Hebrew, nouns have a gender, and other parts of the sentence, such as verbs and adjectives, also change form to agree with the gender of the subject. So far, we've heard a lot of masculine form because Noah was talking about me or to me. Now let's go back and change some of our examples to their feminine form by having Noah speak of herself. Noah, how would you say that you love Hebrew? Ani ohevet ivrit. Ani ohevet ivrit. We see ohev turns into ohevet. Let's see another example. How do you say a new city? Ir chadasha. Ir chadasha. We see chadash turns into chadasha. That's because the word for city, ir, is a feminine noun. This concept of all nouns having gender feels very strange to English speakers and makes learning Hebrew harder. But don't be discouraged, you'll get the hang of it, I promise. Some nouns, like animals or professions, have two forms, one for male and one for female. There are examples of that in English too, like an actor and an actress and a rooster and a hen. In our lesson, we learned how to say a teacher, more. Well, that was the word for a male teacher. For a female teacher, the word is mora, mora. And to say new teacher, speaking of a female teacher, mora chadasha, mora chadasha. And to say nice teacher, speaking of a female teacher, mora nechmada. Mora nechmada. Very good. Let's look at another example. I learn Hebrew. When spoken by a woman, it's Ani lomedet ivrit. Ani lomedet ivrit. Excellent. Noah, I hope you're not tired yet because we have some more words to learn so we can make some more sentences. Let's learn how to say he and she. Let's repeat after Noah. He is learning Hebrew. Hu lomed ivrit. Hu lomed ivrit. And she is learning Hebrew. He lomedet ivrit. He 
לומדת עברית. Well done. Now let's see a couple of verbs in the infinitive. The infinitive is the form of the verb that describes the action, to tell and to sing. Let's hear these two verbs in the infinitive. To tell is... לספר. לספר. And to sing is... לשיר. לשיר. Wonderful. Now let's see two examples with these two verbs. To say, she can tell, or she is able to tell, is... He יכולה לספר. Fantastic. Noah, how would you say she can sing? He יכולה לשיר. He יכולה לשיר. Good job. The verb for a song is שיר. In plural, the word for songs is שירים. So to say she can sing songs, we would say He יכולה לשיר שירים. He יכולה לשיר שירים. Nice. Now how do you say with us? איתנו. איתנו. So she is learning with us or She is studying with us would be He lomedet itanu He lomedet itanu Very good. Let's see a variation. She is coming with us. He baa itanu He baa itanu Baa that's the verb for coming. It's the feminine form. To hear the masculine form, which is ba, let's see how to say he is coming with us. Hu ba itanu. Hu ba itanu. Super! That's it for today. Please remember that learning to speak a new language requires practice. You need to speak it out loud and repeatedly. I hope that this lesson will make lesson one easier to learn and more enjoyable. Now you're ready for lesson one where we'll meet Trina. She'll tell us about her school and about her teacher. We'll practice some greetings and learn some new words. Until then, Shalom ulitraot. Oh yes, litraot. That's goodbye. Shalom ulitraot. <laughs>